What everyone is wondering is how has Photo Finish Live managed to secure a partnership with Kentucky Derby, a major horse racing company, despite there being other established virtual horse racing crypto projects like D-Race and Zedrun. The answer to that is, even though Crown Token has released in March 2023, Photo Finish has been around since 2015. With two gaming iterations which have both been a success and handling broadcast race simulations for NBC, Third Time Games, the creators of Photo Finish Live, have not only found their niche, but they're dominating it as well. For those of you who don't know, Photo Finish Live is a virtual horse racing game with more of a focus on strategy. It utilizes NFT technology to let you do a range of different things with your horses, buy slash sell, breed, race, and you can bet on horse races as well. This ties in perfectly with the first talking point of the video, which is their wager system. I think that as a standalone game, I wouldn't really be interested in playing because it isn't my type of game. As I previously mentioned, it is more of a strategy based game rather than a game you play using your keyboard or controller. It isn't easy by any means, but if you can develop some form of understanding from the information you get from your horse's retirement reports, then you can expect to do really well. By adding in the ability to make money, it gives the game a whole new meaning. The photo finish game operates on a two token ecosystem. Upon signing up, you'll receive a free horse which you can use to test out the game. You'll need to initially purchase Derby tokens on the platform, which you can do by clicking Derby balance at the top and then clicking fund wallet. You can then use the Derby tokens to buy horses on the marketplace. Derby is the first token of their ecosystem, which is sort of like a stable coin. One US dollar is the equivalent of 80 Derby tokens. Once you've bought your horse, this is where the wager player versus player system comes in. You need to pay an entry fee to enter your horse into a race, and if your horse ranks in a high position, then you'll receive a share of the prize purse. Obviously, it isn't so great for the people whose horses don't perform well because they end up losing their money. Although, right now, there is a crown incentivization scheme running for 12 months, where with every race you enter, you'll receive a crown bonus. I think that this is a great idea because it drives more demand, users and races taking place on Photo Finish Live. What I really like about this game is that it integrates two of the hottest narratives in crypto right now, GambleFi and crypto gaming. Also, we know how addicted people can become to gambling. Pair this with a game where its users potentially become attached to their horses and you've got a situation where people may not have that much money to their name but they'll still want to play Photo Finish Live. Moving on, something which I found really impressive is their platform statistics. As crypto investors, one thing we worry about is if users will actually use the crypto projects we are invested in. This isn't something that we need to worry about with Photo Finish Live because 3.7 million was spent on virtual horses and 3.2 million was spent on race entry fees. This isn't even the most impressive stat that I found guys. Wait till you hear this. Some users have made $15,000 plus in Season 8. A season within Photo Finish Live is the equivalent to one month in the real world. That is insane. Something to note is that with every month that goes by, your horse will age one year. One thing which I feel contributes towards these platform statistics is that Kentucky Derby holds a virtual horse race on the Churchill Downs course within Photo Finish Live once every month. I think that this is really great because it means that more traditional horse racing fans will know about the project and potentially invest in the project because horse racing is something that they're passionate about.
current users are already extremely passionate, which we can see through the fact that some of them are doing Let's Plays on YouTube. Having access to support from Coinbase probably helps as well in terms of gaining relevant advice, which they can then implement to increase adoption. A quick overview of the token, 12.77% of all tokens have been released. This is how tokens are allocated. The team and investor tokens are locked up for one year. And if we can see in this image, they'll start to receive them from March 2024. It'll be worth watching whether the team and investors sell their tokens or hold them, because if they were to hold them, then it'll show that they truly do believe in their product. The crown token was released in March 2023, which is great because it hasn't experienced a previous bull run, so there won't be any bag holders looking to dump on you. Now moving on to token utility. The crown token is used to purchase operator licenses for racetracks. To get an operator license, you need to stake your crown tokens. With the current season derby earnings, in this case for the future race course, that would be 2.5 million. 20% of the 2.5 million will be distributed amongst the 776 stakers. For the future race course for the track that you essentially staked your assets in. The majority owner of each track's operator license gets naming rights, track customization, and more. They also have an NFT project, which if you stake your profile picture, then you can earn crown tokens based on the attributes and rarity of your NFT. In this case, Marvelous Mare 4846 has a crown allocation of 3,172. I'm usually not a fan of staking assets because it feels like money is coming out of thin air, but I like how with the racetrack staking, you know where the value accrual is coming from. In this case, obviously operating as a revenue share scheme. I'm not a fan of profile picture staking just because I know that a lot of NFT projects already offer it, but in this case you're getting crown tokens so it isn't that bad of a proposition. Something to be mindful of is that profile picture staking is approximately going to last for only one to two more years. I would actually tell you guys to stick primarily with buying coins if you want to see returns because most NFTs fail to hold their floor price. I'd like to see the team come up with new token utilities because it will ultimately drive more demand towards photo finish live. In regards to future plans, I really like how advanced reports and analytics are going to be offered because it gives more ways for users to analyze which track their horse performs well on. I'm not going to talk about the game mechanics because there are so many different factors you need to consider. If you are interested in buying your own horse and playing the game, then Horse Racing Capital has created a great Medium article which I'll leave the link to in the description. To end off today's video, I feel like investing in Crown could possibly yield at least a 50x. The team is great and it shows in the product they've created. CEO Ian Cummings has also worked at Glue Mobile, Zynga, and he was the creative director for Madden at Electronic Arts. The team are clearly game industry veterans with decades of experience. With a great wager system and impressive user statistics, there's no denying that Crown could possibly enter into the top 100.